Good day, my name is Blue Suit, and today I'll be covering my review of the Early Access Resource Management Cause and Effect Political Science Simulator known as Democracy 4. In Democracy 4, you take on the role of a real-life nation's president or prime minister, and it'll be up to you to balance shaping the nation how you want while still keeping your major demographics happy. The first thing that you need to know is that this is a game about politics, not a political game. And the developer has done an excellent job of staying impartial and doesn't try to make biased points about any political issues. Right from the beginning of the game, Democracy 4 makes sure you know that this isn't a game you can win, as all political careers end in failure eventually. All you can do as a world leader is just try to keep getting re-elected. The gameplay itself is very deep, and the learning curve is quite large, almost even rivaling the titans of the genre like Civilization and Crusader Kings. It doesn't have a very good tutorial, but Democracy 4 makes up for that with a very robust player guide that covers everything from basic concepts to more advanced mechanics like voter group complacency and managing your government's cabinet members. In my first playthrough, I was the President of the United States. I skipped the guide and just thought I could dive into the game and do my best. I was quickly assassinated, as I had no idea how to make my citizens happy. And even after familiarizing myself with the game's guide, it took several attempts before the American people would actually re-elect me back for a second term. And it really speaks to the longevity of the game, because even after I'd mastered that nation, as soon as I moved on to the United Kingdom, I again had to relearn what those citizens needed to be happy. Currently you can choose between the United States, the UK, Germany, France, and Canada to rule over, and each one is vastly different and requires different strategies to be successful. However, once you get the populace on your side and your popularity is high, you can start to mold that nation into what you want it to be. And that's really where the game can start to spiral out of reality a little bit. In my America, I completely defunded the military and state-run schools so that I could lower taxes and still chip away at the national debt. But in order to do this, I had to spend my entire first term pleasing the capitalists and the middle-income earners. Your entire nation is made up of demographics, and learning to identify and manipulate these demographics is the key to success. You do this by understanding the cause and effect of your policies. Every policy in the game, from your pollution control to your biofuel subsidies, affects and is affected by the other policies of your nation. For example, raising your taxes on cars will result in less car usage and unhappy motorists or how increasing your police funding reduces crime and makes your conservatives happy, then those effects will affect other policies, as a reduction in crime leads to more tourism, which is one of the many factors affecting your overall GDP. There are dozens upon dozens of policies you can enforce, and there are even more new policies that you can enact, such as banning private education or allowing the use of torture by your secret service. I can't express enough how deep the system is, and even though it's quite an investment to learn how it all works, it's also deeply rewarding when your nation is functioning properly and you actually know why. The one major downside in Democracy 4 is that it's much more of a one-dimensional game than other titles in the genre. You're never commanding your troops or dealing with foreign leaders or expanding your territory. This game is all about internal politics and charts. That being said, Democracy 4 probably dives deeper into that vein than any other game ever made. Additionally, it is an early access title, and there are a few aspects of the game where that becomes evident. For starters, there are a handful of screens that don't display correctly and a few UI bugs, but so far I haven't experienced anything that really detracted from the overall experience. Right now you can pick up Democracy 4 from their website for $27, and it will be available on Steam Early Access tomorrow, October 6, 2020. Early Access titles are rarely ever worth their price, but Democracy 4 does come very close. With its steep learning curve, multiple nations with more on the way, and addicting political management gameplay, I'm valuing Democracy 4 at $24 in its current state. And I would recommend it to fans of grand strategy games who would be interested in a purely political take on the genre. I hope you enjoyed this review of Democracy 4. Come see me on Twitch where you can watch our reviews in progress five nights a week. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Until next time, peace!